a moot bag, a moot biggity bag. I'm about to throw that and do my thing, a moot bag, a moot biggity bag. Grab your food chat, eat and hang, a moot bag, a moot biggity bag. Sit chat, eat your drink, gossip and hang. All things new, a place where I'm free to be me. Hey squad, hey! Welcome back to All Things Nail for a little bit of everything all in one place. And I came on in for this lunchtime mukbang. I had some requests to do a TV show review. And I'm like, okay, okay. I didn't know y'all missed my TV show reviews. Chai, if you don't tell me, I don't know it. So we can go on and get right on into this TV show review. But don't forget, let's do the business part first. Hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell. If it's something in particular you're looking for, you have to go to my playlist because y'all know I am a jack of all trades. I guess that's just my inner Gemini, baby. Okay, so let's get into this show and my lunch. So today I am going to have grilled chicken. Um, I'm a little back on my little weight loss journey, so I'm trying to watch what I eat. So I don't, I try not to eat fast food, but if I eat fast food, I eat from particular places. So I eat a lot of Mexican. So I have a grilled chicken salad from the Mexican restaurant. Of course, it comes with chips salsa, have my ranch dressing, some silverware, salt and pepper, and this is my grilled chicken salad. How does that look delicious? So this is what we are eating today. I'm going to just take this salt and pepper out of here. Get this open. It's so pretty. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you want to get to know me, um, all I can tell you to do is hit that scroll button, um, hit playlists. It's the quickest way to get to know me. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I tend to do and say what I like. If you have trouble with people keeping it real, it's not the place for you. Because I'm not going to fake it for nobody. And that's just pick that point blank period. I feel like I did enough of that my whole life. And what's the purpose of having a channel if you can't be happy on a channel? Like, there's no purpose, right? So anyway, the show we're discussing today is the have and the have nots. Baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> When I say the have and the have not came back with a bang. But first, I gotta get this food together. Hey, my stomach ground.
Also in my videos, I had somebody to ask me to sing my song that I normally sing. Because <laughs> I don't always do it every video. So, because in my, y'all was in my DMs, in my emails, your girl still got, let me tell y'all how many emails I got, okay? So I want to say thank you because I had no idea that anybody, if you don't reach out to the person you watch, they don't know what you like, okay? So thank you, because now I know what all I do that y'all like, so I can narrow it down, because I do a bunch of things around here, but I'll narrow it down to the things that y'all really like, so everybody can get to see it. So anyway, Chai, let me get into this show, but first... Amen. And I pray over my food. I just don't say a little blessing. Okay. So, as y'all know, if you watch the Have and the Have Not, Season 6, Episode 9 ended with um, Veronica having David Howe shot up. She was mad because David tried to drown her in the swimming pool because she was sitting over there at her little chateau telling David that uh, he wasn't Jeffrey Daddy. She said that Jeffrey was not his son. Jeffrey, I mean, David done snap. Next thing you know, he, he choking her down to the pool. So, David thinks he done killed him. He go home and call him. Jim. Jim said, you sure she dead? Okay. She a whole lifeguard. You know, she was lifeguard in college. And she an excellent swimmer. So, he said, he ought to be like, that witch ain't gonna never die. He said the B word, but since I got kids that watch this, I'm trying to watch my language. To drink, I got half sweet, half unsweet sweet uh, tea. Sure enough, she go get her goons. They go over the day when she tell them, she smoking. Kill everybody in there. Knowing that him and Jeffrey was there. So they run up in there. Gonna try to shoot up the house. And they didn't know. David was ready for him. He handed out guns to Jeffrey. He got AK. He ready. They run there. Thought they was gonna shoot him. Y'all see that? Mm -mm. David was blasting on him. He done ran the thugs back out the house. He done ran the thugs back out. Not only did he run them out, they done killed a few. So that was that. They also in the um, last season, how it ended. Why? Done snipped the little drugs. RK gave him. What is black in my sauce? It better be green. Okay. Ooh. I think it's jalapeno. Ooh. Mmm. <coughs> That's got fit. So anyway, Catherine's sitting there on the phone with Derek. Why it done got high? Y'all remember Derek, the man that raped Hannah, right? Why it done got high on the little drugs from R RK, RJ, whatever his name is. He done went and put bullets, you know, he had the little shotgun he found that downstairs in the trunk, in the basement last season. He done rolled up on Jim, shot him. Derek hear all the commotion. 
So I'm assuming, I'm saying this because they ain't showed it yet, but I'm sure that's what happened because the police got there too fast. I'm sure Derek, when he heard Catherine screaming or whatnot, he called 911. So anyway, she go down there to see what happened. Why? See her, he done ran up there and shot her on close range. So, you know, it leave us this season waiting to see if Jim and Catherine are alive. Then at the end of last season, Hannah told Candace she was raped. And Candace was like, again, you was raped? Right? No, baby, I was raped one time. And told her, that's, you know, he told her that's why she wasn't talking to Derek. And Candace was like, but the rapist is my father. Child. So when I say I was so hyped about this season, so here we are, we on season seven, seven, episode one. Um, also in that other season, why when it went off, why had got shot in his shoulder by the police? Cause they was like, well, you know, take your hands out. He come out behind his back, he holding a shotgun. They just holler a gun and shot him in the shoulder. But anyway, so we found out this season has started. Um, David, they done killed Veronica. <laughs> they done killed Veronica, head goon. He tell her, look, he, they done killed my brother. This one part of the plane. You better get down to the hospital. Mm. And Veronica talking smart out of the side of her neck like I was. How she ain't going blah, blah, blah. He like, you better get down here quick. So she didn't have no choice but to get up and go. I feel like she losing some of her pool over her people because all the people she worked with is people she done got off. Like people that did crimes. And she done helped them get off. You know what I'm saying? And she done be doing right by people. And I feel like this season They're not gonna be here for it. They're not gonna be here for Veronica. Nothing for whatever. So she got up and got down now. But anyway, she wanna go in the room with Madison. I mean with Justin and start harassing him. Cause he had slapped her and all this kind of stuff, plus messing with Jeffrey. Yeah. And she ain't gonna leave it alone. Basically, to Justin dead. <laughs> Not Justin. All the stuff Justin done did to people. Not his sorry side and crime. And he expect everybody to just be okay with it. And sin about him and catering to him. Even Madison. Madison wasn't here for it. Y'all, I'm going to tell you about this salad. Y'all see, it's got raisins in it. And yes, they are raisins. Not raisins with, with four, five, six legs. They real raisins. Y'all see it. So anyway. She's still running in and out. His room. And she's over there showing compassion for the goon's brother. Then she got the goon going in the room. To harass uh, Justin or whatnot, but let me tell you, that go on and on. Then they show Charles. Charles on an the interview. They're raising. Yeah, I see it. He on an interview. He's sitting there. Lying to the people about Candace. I knew the minute he lied, he was going to be trying to call him. Because he really loved him. But it's because I think the media found out is why he can't mess with him. So Candace in that home watching on TV and like Benny said, why you sitting there watching that? 
and her mama too. But I knew he was gonna try to reach out to him. Now y'all tell me this. I want y'all to answer this in the comment. Do y'all think Landon was jealous and purposely let Candace go down so she wouldn't be with the president? Personally, I don't think so because he know the president don't want to be with him. And if he's going to be with anybody, it would, he would rather be Candace, somebody he's familiar with and he know. Even if he feel like she's trouble, all he want to do is see the president happy and Candace is what make him happy. But leave it in my comments below if you think he could have done better. Or did he try his best protecting Candace from the media and it not getting out? In a way, I feel like he could have done a little bit more. But then again, I don't know because that man that she had robbed had got the information. The reason I think it was over Landon Head, the man she had robbed had got the information and was determined to bury her. Once it became the president doing it, I think it was over Landon's head. It wasn't just the media. He had control over the media, but the stuff the president had control over. And that, um, man, she had robbed at the hotel. I don't think Linda had a chance. I don't think he had no option. And I don't like the dude that took Linda in place. I don't care for him. Like Linda said, he didn't get his hair cut. But... When the president was over there trying to take Landon's shoes off and acting like he was like, liking Landon, I'm real glad Landon didn't give in to it. And I do think what's going to happen is Landon going to go to Candace, figure out some kind of way for them to talk, and get his job back. I do think that. I like that Candace and Hannah actually have a mother-daughter relationship. Like, they sitting there laughing and kicking in and sitting out Indian style on the calf. It's so, mm. It's so nice to see them in that light now. Because everything don't always have to be about drama. It's good to see them in a good light. So... Well, Veronica was at this hospital. <laughs> she be, she was sitting up there calling Madison Miss Mascara. Why? Where, where they <laughs> where they come up with these names? Where she called Madison Miss Mascara. But this is my thing. Where they do that? At, that if a patient get harassed by somebody that is of no kin to them. Do they not call police or the security? How long is this going to go on with her and then harassing him? They should have done called police or the security the first time. And something else, when Catherine was shot, why did the police then go in there and flip her over in the tub and make sure she was breathing? They didn't even check Jim either. They just talking about they got bodies and all this kind of stuff. I can't. But anyway... So when Veronica was at the hospital, she she ran into Celine. Y'all know Celine. That's Jim and, and Catherine, old maid that Jim had the affair with and got the kid the kids with. She worked over at the hospital now. And the first thing Veronica did was proposition her to make more money and work for her. And all she gonna do is try to put her up to keep her in the loop with the tea and figure out how to way a way to get in whoever room she need to get into at the time. So she can either have them beat up or she can have them killed. She's not fooling nobody. She's not fooling anybody. That's exactly what she's trying to do. Okay. And Selena at first was like, no. Nah. But she gonna do it. Because Selena like that lifestyle. She love that lifestyle. And she gonna definitely, she gonna definitely do it. So, we're going to have to stay tuned to see what she do about that. I 
I do feel like Veronica gonna do her like everybody else. So many like everybody else. Promise her this, that, and the other. She gonna get down there in trouble for doing it. And then tell him, child, what you calling me for? But that's just what she do. Child, what you calling me for? A mess. But I'm ready to see tomorrow's show because the day Monday and Tyler Tuesdays, honey. Tyler Tuesdays give me life. How many of y'all watch the Oval and the Sisters? So, Cause see, okay, so I'm an old school Tyler Perry, Perry fan way back from Love Thy Neighbor. And what's the one with Angela in it? The Why Did I Get Married TV series show? For better or for worse. Then after he had those shows, he started The Have and the Have Nots, If Loving You Wrong, and Too Close to Home. So I watch all of those. But we are getting another season of If Loving You Is Wrong. I don't know if this will be the last season. My sources say these are pre-recorded shows and it'll be the last season. But I'm hoping it'll be enough views that it will not be the last season. But a lot of people are still complaining about the Oval and the Sisters as far as acting is concerned and the storyline and plot. I will personally say, after watching the Have and the Have Nots and If Loving You Is Wrong and Too Close to Home, especially If Loving You Is Wrong and the Have and the Have Nots, the Oval and the Sisters, the storyline is really like a dip in what we... Uh, uh, accustomed to but I do understand that he was trying to script that for a different age group and a different audience anyway leave me in the comments below what's your favorite Tyler Perry TV show like I'm gonna name them off I, I don't even know if Too Close to Home is on anymore but we have The Have and the Have Nots If Loving You Is Wrong The Oval and, and the sisters. Which out of all four of those shows are your favorite? I am getting, I have not missed the episode of The Oval or The Sisters yet because I support everybody. I support any and everybody, especially black people. But tell me which show is your favorite or are you like me? Well, my favorite is if the, the have and have not and if loving you is wrong. That if loving you is wrong. Baby, I'm gonna tell you. I like when that um they show um when I can watch if loving you is wrong and Queen Sugar back to back. And then I like to watch the have and the have not, and then turn around the next day and watch Green Leaf, baby. Hm. Baby, when I tell you that's a TV lineup, that's a good TV lineup. I like all the love and hip hops. Um, I like the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the Real Housewives of Potomac. I was watching the Real Housewives of Orange County because they was the originals, the first ones I watched. But um, I had to let some things go. But I watched all the Black Ink Crews, all the love and hip hops. The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Married to Medicine. I watched Married to Medicine, and I watched all the Tyler Perry shows. I used to watch shows like 911, Grey's Anatomy. But I have really bad anxiety and depression, so I had to let those type of shows go. But I do still watch everything else I name. So leave it in the comments below. If there's any other show reviews that you would like for me to do, again, I'll tell you. If you don't tell me. I don't know. I don't know. But, like I said, all those emails I got, I'm going to start just giving y'all content on what y'all asked for. Now that I know what the people want, other than mook buns, because I do mook buns. People just like my little country life. 
people enjoy watching me run in between Memphis, Tennessee, Tupelo, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. I stay in the center of all these places. Like, I got some questions about Tupelo because in some of my vlogs, people have seen me in Tupelo. And they was like, you know, that's where Ray Shermer, uh, stepdad got killed. Will you touch on that? Yes, I will touch on that in my next video. Um, then somebody saw um, something on my, either on my IG or my Twitter. I don't know which one it was on something. It could have been on, on YouTube that I was in Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, that's what I would go to Jackson a lot. Um, and that's why I would talk about what's going on in Jackson. So I'm going to um, touch on all of that in my next video because it was requested people wanted my opinion on it about the mississippi situation but because since i am in mississippi with jay-z and young got and all that so i'm just gonna make that a separate video by itself yep The only thing I don't like about this salad is before I put my dressing on it, I forgot to drain the water off because they washed their lettuce really good. And that's what I like too because I can't stand getting no lettuce and it tastes like dirt. But it makes it a little wet. I don't know if y'all notice how it's been dripping. And I don't do like, see how it's been dripping? I don't like my salad wet. I like my salad a little dry. What about two, maybe three tablespoons of dressing? I either do Caesar or I do ranch. And, um, yeah, I don't like it juicy. This is a little juicy, but it's so good you can't stop eating it because I like to get a homemade salad. That's why I go to the Mexican restaurant because this is homemade. It's not like going to buy a salad from like a fast food restaurant. Yeah, I see it. Mm. It is so good. So, that's all we have to talk about today. And I'm full. If you've been watching for a long time, you know. I eat till I'm full, and then I'm done. I don't keep. Oh look, I don't keep just shoving and shoving and shoving and shoving and shoving. Mm -mm. When I'm full, I'm done. Yep, so we're gonna put this up. As soon as I get home. I will edit this and drop it off to y'all. Thank you all for all of your love and support. All your prayers, well wishes. And I will see y'all in the next clip.